Hey girl, hey! Welcome back to 25 Days of Christmas here with Girlfriend Unwrapped. Today's bath inspiration is all about this stuff here, peppermint bark. How delicious is this Christmas treat? Milk chocolate, white chocolate, and peppermint. We can really make a bath from this and a few other items. So let's get into the video. So as you can see, I just have a glass of ice. And with that glass of ice, I'm just going to pour in some water to create some ice water because I really just want to remain hydrated during my bath at all times. Remember, during these baths, your body is detoxing, so you always want to put fluids back into your body during your bath. And next, I am picking the cutest coffee cup I found, which is my snowman coffee cup. And I'm just filling that with some hot cocoa. I mean, who doesn't love really good hot chocolate? And so here on Girlfriend and Rat, we know we have to spruce it up a little bit. So let me go on and put some whipped cream on top. And remember, please remember, when you're using whipped cream on these hot drinks, they do melt pretty fast. So keep that in mind for your bath. You can also see I'm adding some peppermint bark right on top. We're just keeping with the theme. And we're just about to start our bath. So now... I'm turning this on to very, very hot water. However, I recommend you start with warm water and move it up to your tolerance level. I, for one, like really, really hot water because it really helps to open up all the oils. Now you can see I am lighting a candle of my choice. This is my Christmas candle, and I think the scent is warm apple pie. Um, and this candle smells so, so good. So I'm just lighting this first because I really want the scents to open up and create that ambiance that I'm going for. Now you can see I am picking a towel of my choice and this is just for a neck rest. I think it's really, really perfect and it'll help me to prop up my neck and keep me comfortable during my bath. Now this is a Christmas bath bomb. You can definitely make these. I do plan on making some bath bombs here on my channel. This one smells really good. It, it smells like cherries mixed with pine and all this good, good stuff. You can find these at your local stores, beauty stores, grocery stores, wherever you look in the bath section. Bath bombs are the thing now. Most people are really using them in the baths. And you should really get into using them as well. And I love the really, really cute color that it adds to this bath, that reddish pink color. Um, along with my bath bomb, I am adding in peppermint oil. Talk about bringing the peppermint bark um, vibes over to my bath. So... I am going crazy with this stuff. I love it. I love how it makes my skin tingle. Feel free to use it at your discretion. You can or cannot use it if you don't want to. That's perfectly fine. But let's just, you know, kind of get into how the bath is getting going and, you know, adding more items. So now I'm adding in some milk and honey bubble bath. And this is a very generic brand. You don't have to get fancy with it. The more bubble bath, the better. However, I think I'm going to keep it to a minimum. Some days I do go crazy because I love bubbles. However, we're keeping it to a minimum. And you can just see that that water is beginning to just rise. Um, and also, please remember to at least try to fill your tub at least three-fourths of the tub. Don't go any more than that because you do have to count for your body weight once you do get into the tub. And the last thing you need is for your tub to overflow after you've made it so nice and relaxing. Now, the next step I'll be adding in is my bath caddy. And I freaking love this bath caddy. It holds everything that I desire for my baths. As you can see, I'm putting my ice water there, um, as well as my hot cocoa. And um, I also will be using my device. So today I'm using my iPad. I think I want to watch a little bit of TV or play something, you know, fun or catch up on something that I enjoy. However, please remember that if you use devices, they need to be waterproof or you are prepared to watch them from falling in the water. I do also include washcloths so I can not only bathe, but keep my hands dry if needed. And lastly, I think I'm going to add in this cute little ornament to just continue with the Christmas vibes. Um, but we missed one step. We didn't add in any chocolate. So as you can see, I have a chocolate body scrub here, very similar to my coffee coconut body scrub that I made here earlier on my channel. If you are interested in that, I will link that in the description below. However, I think that we have gotten all the scents that I'm looking to incorporate into my peppermint bark inspired bath. 
Now, let's just get into this bath caddy cam, y'all. You see that I have um, my ice water, my hot cocoa, my electronics. Like, we are really doing it over here. Like, if you really look at this bath, this bath is everything, okay? If you have any other things that you think you may want to include in your bath, feel free to do so. I think this is all that I need because in reality, let's be, like, for real, like 100% here. Who has the time to be cleaning up all this stuff at the bath? <laughs> Nobody. However, you do need to treat yourself every now and then. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. Bringing Christmas vibes to my bathroom. Peppermint, peppermint bark inspired bath. Ooh, I can't even talk there. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I hope that you are enjoying my series, especially my 25 days of Christmas here with Girlfriend Unwrapped. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you are interested in any other items or any other recipes that I have featured here on my channel, go to my website, girlfriendunwrapped.com for free information. I thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to our next installment of our Christmas series. Thank you so much. As always, talk to you later, girl. Bye.